places the, the defend in the pick and roll and then a place they're usually strong on the glass how, how did you sort of attack both of those areas well I, i'll be candid we hope to attack them in the pick and roll but we were just praying on the rebounding stuff so uh yeah we did a great job defensive rebound we haven't rebound the ball like that in a while uh you know he's he's so good and big and active that uh you know if you double or if you force help it creates rotation rebounding and i think we we're probably fortunate tonight the ball bounced our way a little bit but but uh we did do a great job on the glass and and, and I, I do think that i don't know how many points we scored off ball screens but it had to be close to 20 tonight so that that was really good for us how, how great was the performance that kevin mcculler gave you limited i mean hobbled with a bad ankle but still turned into double double yeah, I asked Kevin if he wanted to go back. He said, heck yeah, I'm already hurt. Might as well play. So, uh, yeah, he was great. He, uh, he rebounded the ball. He, his, his, he, he got his hands on several balls. We, you know, we, we're trapping and our rotations aren't great. But he made up for others' mistakes uh, uh, because he's so smart defensively. And, and, you know, he hadn't shot the ball great of late. And then he makes the biggest shot of the game probably uh, to um, – Kind of give us a little cushion there late, so uh, I'm really happy with him. I, I thought I thought our all our guys did great. I thought all our starting five did great. I thought Jalen was played like in the first team All American down the stretch. Uh, I thought Juan controlled the game. I thought Grady did some good things, even though they really keyed on him. And KJ had one of his best games. So you know, if you, if you can have all five starters play well the same night, you got a chance, and that's what happened with us. Bye. Bill, with your guys being on this losing skid, to be able to snap that in this fashion, in this environment at Rupp Arena, what can you say about just the way your guys responded and took care of business? Well, I think I think I you know I can't speak for for Kentucky, and I don't I don't want to, but there's some similarities in pride that exist at both places. Uh, you know, the win they got at Tennessee was very similar to the win we got tonight. You know, they didn't have a lot of momentum at that moment, and we didn't either, and they probably put together. As, as good a performance as we've seen on the road. And I don't know that ours was that good tonight, but considering where we were, and you know, you look out there, we're not the biggest team. We, uh, we don't have a lot of depth. Uh, uh, there's some things that we don't do great, but our guys do compete and they fight. And I think there's just a lot of pride within it. How important were Dewan's two threes early? Uh, well, we've been, I told him he had to shoot, make at least three tonight and, and uh, he didn't. But but uh, the first two were huge, and, and you know, and we we had run terrible offense the first five minutes, and we didn't guard them at all the first five minutes, and they were just playing with us, and so you know sometimes uh, 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 making a shot covers up some poor play, and that's what happened early, and then we kind of settled in after that. So th those those were big shots. And and you kind of alluded to it, but I mean, just a gut check here. I mean, you had a whole week kind of to think about this one, and and put the others behind you and you had to like what you saw in that way. Yeah, but I, you know, you guys uh, make a bigger deal out of stuff than what I think coaches do. Uh, uh, yeah, we had, we, 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 you know, we had to put it behind us because there was a next game. Uh, uh, we would approach it the same way if we'd have won on Monday, but you know, our league is a monster and, and, and I mean, it's a monster. So uh, in our next three games are, you know, top 10, top 10, top 10. So, uh, 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 so it, 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 it's not going to get any easier. So, we can't get hung up on a, a span of bad play because it's a snippet in the in, in the big picture. And, and our guys actually did a pretty good job acting pretty mature about it. Got one Zuby was in a boot uh, after he came back in the second half. I guess what's his status if you know it. Well, as far he turned his ankle, so yeah, he couldn't he couldn't return today. So he he got it pretty good, but. I don't know if, uh, you know, what his availability will be moving forward at all. I have no idea. And then when you were down to nine scholarship guys, when Kevin went out, was there any level of concern at all, or did you still feel as confident as ever? Well, I was, I was more confident when he came back. Uh, uh, but, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I think our guys are capable of doing well. But the way that we were trying to trap the post and stuff, if we didn't have Kevin, it would have been dead. So uh, Oscar would have had a much bigger night if, if Kevin had to come back. I'm curious with Ernest in his minutes, I guess, what did you like about what he brought during his time on the floor? Well, you know, we thought if we could actually screen somebody, we could get out of it and run to the rim, and we were able to get six, basically, points that way, pretty easy baskets, and I thought he did a good job there, and 
you know, he, he, he's young and, 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 and he's not ready to defend him one on one. But I actually thought he, he did a, a pretty good job of staying between him and the basket. Yeah, and speaking on that, kind of with KJ, how did you feel he played, you know, the defensive end against Oscar and then played pretty well on the offensive end too? Yeah, I thought, I thought, you know, that was something we wanted to do is KJ score, you know, to try to drive it. And he did a good job on that. And I, I thought he played great. You know, he's just not very big, guys. He's six foot six. And, and, uh, uh, but he, he was active, but, but when we didn't trap, he could get, he got buried there some in the second half, but he was exhausted too. Uh, uh, that's, a, that's a big guy to try to push uh, uh, when you're absolutely never moving. Uh, and uh, so he, he was worn out tonight. Bill, Cal likes to say that when Kentucky goes on the road, it's everybody's Super Bowl. And I kind of assume it's similar for you guys in your league. When you go, how much does that help you when you come into this environment and, and you're just not phased by all the noise and the and the extra intensity in the air? Well, I, I actually believe that our guys will perform better in environments like this and not. And I'm sure Kentucky players feel the same way. I'm sure they feel like when they go to some place, they'd rather be full than not full because they're used to playing full. And that's you know that that that's how we are too. So. Uh, um, you know, uh, when, when, you, when you have the name Kansas or Kentucky across your chest, I don't want to say that you're everyone's biggest game, uh, but it's certainly a game everyone circles every year. Um, how did you all keep um, answering the runs from Kentucky in the second half and just be able to control the lead the whole time? How, how did, to, how did what, what was the first part I missed? Um, the first part was just UK kept going on runs in the second half, but Y'all kept the lead. How were y'all yeah. able to? Yeah, I, I think we had some guys. You know, they cut it to one once, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, Jay Will just came down and made a long three. So, so uh, 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 we, you know, if, if the if the lead ever switches, you know, momentum definitely would feel different. But you know, we did a good job of of, uh, of uh, having good short runs against them and and not letting them go on a 10-2 run or anything like that. That that was. You know, you keep them out of transition, you keep them off the glass, you got a chance to do that, and we were able to do that. Anyone else? Thank you very much. Thank you.